Hey everyone, what's going on today? JSP Farms here. Uh, we got a little bit of rain over the last 48 hours. We got about half an inch of rain, I think. So it's pretty wet out, but gonna be cool tonight. So me and dad are headed down to the sprayer and the drill. We're gonna make sure everything's okay before it gets cold. So we're just putting a little fuel in and uh, we're gonna be off here, so. Okay. We'll go see what we can see. I think we're gonna grease the drive line today and uh, yeah, make sure everything's ready for a cold night. But <clears throat> first I guess I had one question get, well I had a few questions get asked, but uh, I'm gonna deal one at a time because I've been known to give uh, some lengthy answers. So if we do one at a time, things won't get too dry. So the first thing is, why do we burn off before we seed? And really what you're doing is, is you're getting the first flush of weeds out of the way. You're giving your crop the competitive advantage. There'll be less weeds later on when we go back in to uh, do our in-crop and we can usually get away with, uh, you know, better options, do a better job. Obviously it's a lot easier to combine when you don't have any weeds to deal with. It doesn't get in the seed, doesn't add to your dockage. So really we're, uh, we're taking the steps now, doing a good job and uh, making sure we, uh, we set ourselves up for a successful year. So we'll uh, see what's good down at the sprayer. Hey guys, what's going on? We got down here in a sprayer. So we're just gonna hop underneath here and uh, we're gonna get the, gotta take this cover off. No, nope, not that one. This one, this cover off. And uh, this one right here. We've got some drive lines to grease. They're 100 hour grease. Used to be 250, but I'm guessing people didn't do them enough, so. But you can only get at them one way. And they're kind of annoying. You gotta turn your sprayer on and off constantly. Maybe somebody else knows a better way to do this. But you have to get down in the mud and I broke cardboard for myself. <laughs> dark up in there but there's another knuckle off in there we gotta get can only get one way that's why I got my fancy light of toucan today it's uh, the only way I can see so hopefully this doesn't take too many tries Again. 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 
thing is kind of useless. Should be able to get it, I just can't see. Should have brought that other magnetic flashlight. Just go and try it a little again. Then we gotta do this one. Right here. Should be able to. Oh, I'm weak today. Yeah, good. good. Yeah, that's how she's done. Well, I guess we got that job done. So we don't have to do that for another 100 hours. So I guess uh, we're going to wait for a dry up. Hopefully we can get at it uh, somewhere around noon tomorrow. Probably hopefully start spraying. And maybe later in the afternoon we'll be able to bring the... Uh, Bring the big trucks down there and uh, fill with fertilizer. Maybe even get a little seeding done. Hopefully, be able to wrap up the uh, the mustard here in in a few days, in a couple days, and and then move on to the late derm. And if we get a little rain, maybe we'll switch that out to barley. I don't know. So that's kind of what we got going on. So we're gonna get back out of here. Always nice to get some rain, get a bit of a rest in. Uh, after we ran that 41 and a half hour shift there right at the end so thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button we're going to try and get back to our regularly scheduled programming coming up here and uh hope you guys are all having a good one and uh i know you know i hope you guys are all having a good one and we're going to uh get back at her here and Pretty soon we'll uh, move on from seeding and we'll be doing some in-crop and uh, and we'll start scouting some of the early crops and, and be looking at that kind of stuff. So, so uh, yeah, appreciate it. And uh, as always, we'll catch you on a flip-flop.